Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Wednesday. We're going to have fun today creating a very simple yet really cool project. And for today, you will need some scissors. You will need some tape. You will need, and I keep them in here in my art, art studio here, a straw. I'm going to put these away. I'll leave you down here for now. Mr. Price has to give his studio a really good cleaning. And you're also going to need some of this stuff. This is lightweight cardstock. Okay? Now, if you're working from home, you might want to try using just a thicker piece of paper or maybe the back of a cereal box or something that's like a very lightweight cardboard. Okay? So, oh, and one more thing that you're going to need, speaking of cardboard, is in school... I'm going to give you, and I don't have any here because I have my example already made, but I'm going to give you a little piece of cardboard, and we'll talk about that after, okay? So, you'll need a pencil, and I'm going to find one around here somewhere, and something to draw a straight line with. So, if you don't have a ruler in school or at home, find something that has a straight edge, like this piece of paper has a nice hard edge I can use as a ruler. So, you know, look around. You'll find something. Okay? Let's begin. Okay. Take your piece of paper, and I want you to make a vertical fold down the middle. So fold it so it's nice and tall. Okay? So I'm going to do that quickly on my desk here. And really make sure you're doing this neatly, okay? Okay. Just like that. Go ahead. I'll wait. <laughs> All right. Now that you have a vertical line, open it up, take your scissors, and you want to cut the vertical line. So I'm just going to cut very neatly. And now I divided the paper into two pieces, okay? So, we're actually making two mini projects. So one rectangle is for one project, the other rectangle is for the other project, okay? All right, while you have your scissors in your hand, take your straw, and you know that part that bends right here? Just cut that off. Now, if you don't have a straw with the bendy thing, then just leave it alone, okay? I don't know what kind of straws you're going to get in school yet because I'm still at home. So you might have this or you might have the other kind. So just, you want a straight piece, okay? Alrighty. So, project number one, let's get the easy one out of the way. You're going to take the long piece of paper... And what I want you to do, and this is where you're going to need your straight edge, and I'm going to move you down so you can see. Okay, I'm just using my piece. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a ruler so you can see it better. Okay, so here's my ruler. What I want to do is I want to make two thin... Whoa, Mr. Price is not using a ruler. <laughs> Look at that. I'll just draw right over that. That's okay. You want to draw two thin rectangular lines like that. One and two. Do you see that? Okay. And then you're going to cut them because basically you want two long strips about... I call that like two fingers wide. Do you see how it's two fingers? Go about two fingers. That's good. There's no real measuring number here because this is kind of an experiment. Okay. So for this project, I have the two skinny strips, the straw. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to take some tape and you're going to make a hoop 
like that. Just bring the two ends together and tape it together just like that. And then you take the smaller one, and I'm going to cut some of this off. Maybe, whoa, I don't know, about like that much. Don't cut it in the middle. Cut a little off, okay? Because what you want to do is you want to make a circle that's smaller. Do you see what I did? So you want to take some of that paper off the other rectangle, just so it's not as big as the first one. And I'm going to tape that. Just like that. Okay? All right. So do that, and then we'll move to the next step. Okay. Now you're going to take your straw. You're going to take your big hoop. Okay? I like to put the side with the tape at the bottom. And I'm going to tape it to the straw, just like that. Okay? So I'm just going to very carefully and neatly tape it on. You want to make sure that it's nice and what they call perpendicular, okay? So do you see how mine's crooked? I want to fix that. So I'm going to take that off. Just kind of line it up a bit better. There, that's a little better. Okay? Now take the smaller tube and tape it to the front. So again, make sure that it's nice and even and lined up. And really rub that tape on. Do you see what I did? Okay. You're probably thinking, Mr. Price, what is this thing? Well, it's a little plane. And last week we did planes with the other group, and they had so much fun. I wanted to teach you guys another type of plane. So this one is super cool. It's like a spinny plane. And we'll get to this later at the end. You can test it at the end. But let's move on to that other project, okay? So let's put this one off to the side. And we're going to move our scrap papers. And now I have left over that other half, that other piece of paper. So this one is super easy, but you got to follow the steps, okay? So let me move you down and show you what to do. So take your long piece of paper... And we want to create a vertical fold down the middle. Okay? Now, if you're neat and you're careful, you can make two of these. Okay? Because you'll have two pieces after we're done cutting it here. Okay? So just remember that. We'll make one in art, and then you can take the other piece of paper home, and you can try it at home. All right? So now I am going to cut it on that long folded line. Okay? You want to be as neat as possible. Okay. So I'm going to go back, and I have a little nick here. And I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of clean it up a little bit. There. Let me do it over here. Just trim up your edges. Okay, good. Now, my next step is I want to fold these in half. Okay, so there's one. And I'm making two, so I'll do the other one here as well. Give it to a friend. How's that? Okay. So now that I folded it in half, I know where the middle is. Let me move you up so you can see. Okay, I know where the middle is. So I'm going to just move this off to the side. I'll work on that later. Let's make one first, okay? Now, using your straight edge... I want you to draw a line going down the middle until you hit the folded line. So here is my straight edge. And here is my, I'm using a red pen, I couldn't find a pencil. And I'm going to find the middle, just, you know, eyeball it. You'll, you'll still be okay. And draw a line until you get to the middle. Do you see that? Don't go past the middle. Okay. And now I'm going to cut that line. Okay. See how I cut it right down until the middle? 
Okay. All right. I'll give you a second to do that, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. The next step, what you're going to do is you're going to use your fingers as a measuring guide. Okay. And you want to move down about three fingers from the folded line. So what you're doing is you're putting your hand on top, measuring down about three fingers. If you have small hands, use four. And just put a little mark right there. So I measured down about four fingers and put a mark. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line at that mark. And again, guys, you're eyeballing it. Okay? So I went down about four fingers, because your hands are going to be smaller, and put a little mark. And now, what I want to do is on that bottom rectangle, just draw a line like that. Looks like a pair of pants, right? Okay, I'll give you a minute to look at that and see what I did. Okay, so this part's a little tricky. So now what I want to do is I want to divide these two rectangles in half. Okay, so this one, I'm going to put a dotted line down the middle. And I'll hold it up. Hang on, guys. Let me just do it. And I'm putting a dotted line down the middle. Do you see what I did? I basically divided up those two rectangles in half. Now, I'm going to take my scissors, and I want to make a cut until I get to the dotted line there. And I want to make a cut until I get to the dotted line there. Do you see where I cut it? Just a little bit on that line. And now, using your dotted line, let me move it down. You're going to fold the dotted line, and it should land almost in the middle like that. Then do it on the other side. Do you see? So basically, if I hold that up, I have those two long pieces, the four-finger space, or three-finger space, and then all I did... was just clip that and fold it in a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just tape that thing closed. So I'm gonna take a little tape. See this thingy? I'm just gonna take a little tape and I'm gonna put it down the whole thing just to keep it closed, okay? Okay, now remember I was talking about that cardboard while well, I found my piece. So I'm gonna take my cardboard and I'm going to put it right on that piece that I ooh, that piece that I cut. And if yours is a little big, then trim your cardboard, that's all. Okay? Put it on and tape it onto that piece that you made. And again, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause me or go back and rewind me, okay? That's why I, I do like making the videos to show you that, okay? So I'm almost done. And then we have one more thing to do on this one, okay? The cardboard is going to add a little weight. And then finally, take these two things. One goes back, one goes front, and you're done. And you just made a whirly bird, okay? So we're going to test this out as well and see if you can toss it up and if it flies down. Now I have to tell you, these wings are kind of big and I did that purposely because you might have to trim your wings if this is a little too long, okay? So it's sort of like a science experiment. I'm going to trim mine a little bit just to get started, but I think that's good, okay? So let's take the camera outside. And let's see if my plane can fly. And let's see if I can get my whirly bird to whirl. Let's give it a try. Hold it like that and give it a fly. Oh, it looked, oh, it worked great. Give that a try. And now let's try 
the whirly bird. I have it on the floor here. This one I'm a little worried about. I hope it works. So make sure you just test it and just make sure everything's even and straight. Okay. I'm going to toss it up. Whoa, there it went. It worked. So give the projects a try. I hope you have fun and I'll see you next week, boys and girls. Have fun creating. Bye.